ABL tree construction. These are the elements I am going to insert into ABL tree. Always the first element becomes root B. The next character it is C. ASCII value of A is 65, B is 66, C is 67. So C is greater than B. So A is smaller than all the remaining characters. B is greater than A and smaller than remaining characters. So AVL tree is a binary search tree. If at all it is greater, right side we have to insert, otherwise left side C. Now C is greater than B, right side we have to insert. After inserting each and every element, we have to write balance factors. For B, balance factor is there is no left subtree. 0, minus 1, it is minus 1. Always for leaf nodes, 0 because there is no left and right subtree. Okay, now it is balanced. It is AVL tree. Now G. Again G, we have to compare with root. G is greater than B. So again G is greater than C. Right side of C, we have to insert G. Again we will write balance factors. C, B, C, G. For G, balance factor is 0, C, no left subtree, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, it is minus 1. For B, left, side, left subtree height is 0, right subtree height 2, 0, minus 2, it is minus 2. So, AVL balance factor, it can be 0, 1 or minus 1. If at all it is minus 2 means it is unbalanced. It is unbalanced because of adding G. From B, which side it is added? Right, right. So, we have to perform RR rotation. RR rotation means we have to rotate left side. So, when you rotate left side, the middle one becomes a root. C becomes root. C left it is B and right of C it is G. Again, if you write balance factors, 0, 0 for C also, 1 minus 1 it is 0. Now, it is balanced. We can add next character. After G, the next character is E. E is greater than C and E is less than G at left side of G. Again, we have to write balance factors. 0 for G, 1 minus 0, it is 1. B, 0 for C. Left subtree height is 1, right subtree height is 2. 1 minus 2, it is minus 1. It can be 1, 0 or minus 1. Again, it is balanced. Now, after E, the next character, it is F. C, F is greater than C. Right side we have to add. F is less than G. Left side. Again F is greater than E. Right of E we have to add F. Again write balance factors. F balance factor is 0. E balance factor 0 minus 1 it is minus 1. G. These two added left side only. So left subtree height is 2. There is no right subtree. 2 minus 0 it is 2. So 2 means it is unbalanced. So, G is unbalanced because of adding F. Which side it is added? Left, right. So, we have to perform LR rotation. Okay. Now, so when you are performing LR rotation, first perform L rotation, then perform R rotation. When we are performing left rotation, so now consider these three. So, when you are performing the left rotation, don't rotate the root. So, in this subtree, the root is G. Don't rotate this one. The remaining characters, we have to rotate left side. So, in this direction, we have to rotate. C and B as it is I am writing. Now, right side. Now, no need to rotate G. Remaining these two, we have to rotate left side. When you rotate left side, F goes up. G left it is F. Now, F left it is E. Okay. And this is first rotation. After L rotation, we have to perform R rotation. When you are performing R rotation, now you have to rotate G also. C. From G, you have to rotate right side. C. Left it is B. So, when you rotate right side, middle one becomes the root. F becomes a root. F right it is G. F left it is E. So, again we have to write balance factors. For E balance factor it is 0, 0. 1 minus 1 it is 0. For B also 0. For C, left subtree height 1. Right subtree height is 2. 1 minus 2 it is minus 1. Again it is balanced. Now, 
the next character after e the next character is d d is greater than c d is less than f again d is less than e left of d we have to ins sorry left of e we have to insert d again right balance factors 0 1 minus 0 it is 1 0 2 minus 1 it is 1 for b also it is 0 for c left subtree height is 1 minus right subtree height in longest path number of edges from root to leaf node 1 2 3 so if you traverse like this the height is only 2 but we have to take longest path 1 2 and 3 so right subtree height is 3 1 minus 3 it is minus 2 c it is unbalanced c is unbalanced because of adding d so from c which side we have added d right left so in right subtree left side we have added so we have to perform rl rotation when you are performing two rotation first perform right then left when you are performing the right rotation don't rotate c the remaining subtree we have to rotate right side First, we will perform the R rotation. When you are going to perform the R rotation, no need to rotate C. The remaining subtree, we have to rotate right side. When you rotate right side, E becomes a root. So, in right subtree, root is E. Now, E right is F. F right it is G. Now, E left it is D. And C left is B. So, this is right rotation. Next, we have to perform left rotation. When you are performing left rotation, we have to rotate C also. So, when you perform left side, E becomes root. E left C, C left is B, E right F, F right it is G and E left D, E left now it becomes right of C that is d now right balance factors 0 0 1 minus 1 it is 0 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 now for e balance factor left to subtree height 2 right subtree height also 2 2 minus 2 it is 0 so now again it is balanced and one more it is a so a is less than e so left side we have to add a is less than c a is less than b so left of b we have to add a now, left of B, I am going to add A. Again, we will write balance factors. 0, 1, minus 0, it is 1, 0, 0. Leaf nodes, uh, balance factor is 0. Because leaf node means there is no left child and right child. For C, left is subtree 2, minus 1, that is 1. For F, there is no left to subtree. 0, minus 1, it is minus 1. For E, left is subtree height in longest path, 1, 2, and 3. And right subtree height is 2. 3 minus 2 it is 1. So now every node is balanced. Now the tree is balanced. No need to perform any rotation. This is our final AVL tree.